Hey everyone, Chris for Project Mobile here. Comics are in iBooks. You can both buy them and you can read them in iBooks. And I don't mean just as a PDF. They actually have a native format here. You can find iBooks in the store real quickly. If you just hit in iBooks up, up top, you're going to see that amongst the other novels, textbooks, you'll see some other stuff. For example, you can see The Walking Dead here. That's not what's as interesting. I mean, really, the selection is pretty poor at this point. However, the significance of being on iBooks is is well, like I just said, significant. It gives a chance for people to be on the app, the only app that iOS will con constantly berate you to open and, and install on your device if you do not. But once you have an iBooks, and these are all free, um, these were all just provided as examples in iBooks. Anyone can download them and check them out yourself. Um, so if we look at, say, the Avengers comic here, iBooks, uh, comics and iBooks look actually more just like somebody took a real comic book smush them under some glass and then had some touch capability um they're a little bizarre for example they're not full screen they do show literally like a book as you can see around the outline here you can see sort of the software bezel has that book look um and when you read them the only time the page actually turns is when you actually get to the end of it so for example if i was going to this left page and i wanted to go back you would see the page turn however if i'm going from the left page to the right page it just slides. It's it's actually weird, you know. I would not to say that it's any better or worse. The other thing, it's just bizarre. Most of the other comic apps do not work this way. Um, comics look fantastic because Marvel comics, at least, are Retina ready. So, for example, the Avengers here looks fantastic. Everything is really sharp. Even when you zoom in, things look really good as compared to the way they were prior to this in other apps, where text would get a little fuzzy, text would get a little blurry there. Now it looks fantastic. And that's important for comics and iBooks because unless you're okay reading it like this where it's zoomed out, I mean, comics are not made for the four to three ratio screen. And the fact that they're even smaller because it's not full screen, even though the text is perfectly crisp in here, I'll give you everyone a little chance to see the text on this. I mean, I understand with the video, it's a little tough to really see. Um, you're gonna take my word for it or just use, you know, use an iPad in the Apple store. Even though it looks really good right now, this is, it's tiny. It looks like there's almost so much wasted space. It's almost like you have a Kindle Fire cut out in your screen to read comics. You are going to be doing, if you want something up close, a lot of zooming, panning around, which is, of course, you know, tedious. But the good news is, is that when you are zoomed in, everything looks fantastic. Show a little bit more of this. But I guess as we saw a page before, the only time that this view really does come in handy and looks pretty nice is when you have full screen stuff like this. And if you even wanted to see it in more of a full screen, you could start reading this in landscape and you would get the whole full effect. Now, I mean, of course, reading comics like this is absolutely ridiculous. It's also worth noting that comics is in I, the iPhone. Um, you will never, ever want to read through that. Everything looks horribly small and it's basically impossible. Um, I think the significance of comics being in iBooks is way more important and way more useful than the actual comics that are in iBooks. They have a lot of work they need to do before they become useful and much better than, say, comics, the Marvel or DC apps.